as we're going through the woods here doing our adventure ride it's probably a good time to talk about how this is not really an adventure bike um, however I know there's a lot of people out there that are really excited about this possibly being an adventure bike and by adventure bike definition of that I mean like your big KTM's and BMW's GS's and stuff that can cruise along happily on the interstate getting you from trail to trail and then going through those trails when you get there so I wouldn't classify this as an adventure bike but you could definitely have some adventures on it but your adventures on the interstate are gonna be short-lived in my opinion it's not a it's not as sure-footed as a dirt bike the rear wheel tends to slide around a lot and you know it spins in the mud pretty easy but it doesn't have a lot of power to be braking traction that easy either so it's not like you have a big horsepower adventure bike spinning the rear wheel here it's more or less like this little donkey a little Sherpa kind of hopping through these trails so it's called the trail 125 but I'm not gonna claim that it's strictly a trail bike it's uh, got a license plate the uh, tires are skinny and not really knobby and um, I think the trail moniker is just paying homage to the uh, the Trail 110, which um, to me was truly a trail bike with dual range transmission and you know more sort of rugged focus on it. This uh, trail is more blending the lines of uh, adventure scooter, and people hate when I call this bike a scooter. It's not a scooter, purely in the sense of a you know feet in front of you type of automatic transmission scooter but it's um kind of in the uh the feel of a scooter look at that balloon so with it paying homage to the trail 110 this is not purely a trail bike but with a name like trail 125 you got to figure that this is what people assume that you're going to be wanting to do right you want to throw this bike on the back of uh, your camper and go camping somewhere and blast off through the campsite down a public road if you need to 100% legally and then cut off and hit a trail or so not extremely technical or uh, you know treacherous trails obviously stuff that is like this where you don't need mega ground clearance or super suspension or crazy knobby tires to get through it but just take a nice little slow adventure through the woods so that's what I consider as a light adventure bike um, but while yes it is street legal yes it can go on the road and it can go on the highway if you really want to it's um, it's not really designed for that end of the spectrum so much and while you can go off-road with it and uh, it's fairly capable I really don't think it's designed towards that far of the spectrum either i don't think it's a um, pure off-road bike i don't think it's a pure on-road bike i think it's a, a hybrid basically kind of a light adventure bike it's gonna be able to take you on your adventures wherever you choose to go and it might not get you through all of them it's definitely not going to be a bike that you uh take on the interstate <laughs> although there are people that are going across the Trans-American Trail with it right now I think which is crazy because I feel the seat is not really comfortable enough for more than a couple hours at a time it's definitely a nice little do everything bike but not do everything great bike so 